about damn time. <laughs> 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 I got to went through three shows already. Got there. Two fucking, two damn hosts. Third host already. Three, 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 Shit. Fucking fat people. There's any fat people in the room. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Calandra. Specifically her. She'll kill a nigga if he opened the refrigerator. I mean, die. But uh, Calandra loves Chinese food and she sent me to the Chinese store the other day. Anybody eat Chinese food in here? Anybody? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you go to the Chinese store and you tell them what you want to order, but they don't say you order back in English because I went to the Chinese store the other day. I was like, can I get chicken wings and french fries? She said, you want chicken wings and fries? She said, okay. No, you are. No, you are. Doggy, doggy. I said, no, doggy, doggy. She said, no, my doggy, doggy. How are we? I said, okay, okay. Make sure no dog in my shit. I don't eat dog. Thank you. Appreciate that shit. So I took, I took the food back to the house. I got a text message from Kalanji like, nigga, what you doing at the Chinese store? on me as you can see. I don't get to eat shit. She's always in my food. I'm just shit. She's always on my ass. But yeah, man, this is crazy world out here is going down. Crazy. You know what I mean? But out of all the people that's getting and popping in this world, senior motherfucking citizens are getting and popping. Yes, I said senior citizens. If you see a senior citizen in the street, you better watch out. They might fuck some shit up. First of all, when they driving, you ever seen a citizen drive? I was driving up in there next to an old person. Nigga was sleeping. What the fuck are you driving? You're sleeping. He said, "Be my wife, wake the nigga up." Baby, said, "Oh shit, yeah, you're right." So that's the person that's gonna be driving. Said, "Nigga, get your ass off the road. How did you get your license?" I said, "My grandson." I said, "That the bitch." What the fuck you do that shit? God damn it. Speaking of license, does anybody ever try to find a speeding ticket in here? Oh my god. Tell me about it. Especially in New York City, you never motherfucking win. As soon as the judge says, based on the facts of the case and a credibility of the officer, I find you guilty, please see the corporate. And I go there every time like a sucker thinking that the officer gonna show up. But I think he always shows up because every time he gives you a ticket, I say, I see your ass in court. And the show ass, his motherfucking ass show up too. So I was in the courthouse the other day and this man came through. He had about three witnesses with him, a fucking slideshow presentation, video presentation. Fucking lawyers went out there, they was up there for two hours. Up there two hours, and we all in the courthouse laughing. Like, this nigga, man, we giving everybody high fives. He's shaking his head like, hey, somebody going to win. Now, the judge asked him, are you done, sir? He said, yes, I'm done. Looked at the lawyer, said, lawyer said, are you done? He said, yes, sir, I'm done. The lawyer looked down and said, okay. You pleaded your case really well, but, uh, Based on the facts of the case <laughs> and the credibility of the officer, I find your ass guilty. Please see the court for your mom. I said, ain't that a bitch? I said, Marcus Johnson, come see the judge. I said, okay. I said, judge, before you say anything, based on the facts of the case and the credibility of the officer, I find myself guilty. But I have one question. Do you motherfuckers got a paper pants? <laughs> <laughs> and you know me, I'm a cheap motherfucker. I ain't never got no money. I always need a pay. I even got my car. I went to the dealership and bought my car. They gave me a payment plan on my down payment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing I got done because she worked for Enterprise. They give you nine ninety nine for the weekend. I said, can I get your discount on that? <laughs> man, man, this shit was crazy. But uh, that girl left that was here earlier, so I think I can talk about her now. I don't give a fuck. She was like, um. You know, if you have, you know, uh, you have, you know, going down on a man, you gotta have this for your breakfast and all that. Did anybody understand what the fuck she was saying? Because I did it all. Oh, everybody was like, you know what I mean? But uh, you gotta get the dump for your shit. I was, I was like, this bitch is about retarded right down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and she's she stupid as she retards. 
No, I was like, God damn, somebody get that girl off the stage fast. <laughs> but I give her props for coming up here though, because she had like a little pudge and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was sitting up there like, um, you know, if you get a guy to suck his dick, you need to get her this. I said, who the fuck is letting you get here? <laughs> <laughs> you have to take me. I need to go. Now, I wasn't thinking about that bitch. You gotta be on trip. God damn it. God damn it. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> but the funniest thing in the world is when I look at my bank account. But what pisses me off the most is when I go to the bank and the teller looks at my, how much money I got in my bank account. Should I have to call another teller? <laughs> They look up and they say, how much you want to take out? I said, bitch, give me all of it. She goes, okay, sir, $5.23. How would you like that? I said, bitch, I want five singles and 23 pennies. I'm going to the shit club tonight. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. But uh, another thing about women is women are weird. You know what I mean? Like, I know my girl is sitting in the front seat. I'm scared as fuck to say this next show because I'm going to have a problem at home. But I'm going to say it anyway. I'm a man tonight. I'm going to pop me, goddammit. I paid enough money to get you, girl. I'm fuck out of here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so women, when I was younger, younger, babe, younger, uh, <laughs> they used to give me the pussy for the most craziest reason. I was thinking about it. If I, if I took a girl out on a date and she said, ooh, to anything I had, I knew I was getting it. I took one of the girls and I said, ooh, you got a nice bad girl. I hit it that night. She said, ooh, you got a nice car. I hit it that night. She said, ooh, you a gentleman. Yes, I did. I had it that night. But this is one girl. She was giving me the. She was giving me the hardest time. She wouldn't say ooh for nothing. And I made sure I made everything was good. I made sure I opened the door for her. I opened the door. She said, "Oh, thank you for being a gentleman." I said, "Okay." And you know what I mean? I took her out. She said, "You spending money on me? Thank you." I said, "Okay." Got back to the house. She came in the room. She said, "You got a nice house." I said, "No, ooh, goddamn, no, ooh, yeah." Them all, everything. So I was getting mad. You know, when, when you go out with a girl, you spend all that money and she ain't giving me no pussy, you get mad. You start ignoring that shit. I don't want to pussy. Fuck alone. I'm mad at you, girl. You know what I wanted. So we started watching some TV and she, she said, Can I have something to drink? I said, Sure. Go in the, go in the, go in the kitchen. The, the cups is in the cabinet and something to drink in the refrigerator. And she goes, Oh, you got chocolate You know, when you go with a girl, you start realizing shit pisses you off that you don't usually know piss you off. So I asked my girl, I said, um, Courtney, what are you doing? She said, uh, you're done. The end? <laughs> 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 I'm going to the mic with five minutes, but God 